Welcome to the Nightmare DP Bestia Tanking Guide. I will be occasionally pausing the video to explain fight mechanics. For this first part of the video, I will show the first half where I tank two monsters. After that, I will show the first half again, but from the other tank's point of view. Then I will show the second half, which is effectively the same for both tanks. Two monsters will always spawn on the right half of the room. In this poll, two monsters spawn from the same portal and I pick them up. When two monsters are close together, they will turn red and get a huge buff to their damage reduction. It is essential to keep these monsters away from the single monsters so that the DPS can still attack that monster. Also, try to pick up only the two monsters and not any larva. The other tank is in charge of picking up the larva and you will be taking enough damage from the two monsters as is. I recommend guarding the healers so that they do not steal aggro on the monsters during this phase. Of course, you can easily taunt the monster back if a healer gets aggro, but it is best if that does not happen in the first place. The main part of tanking two monsters is knowing how to manage your cooldowns. I will leave it up to you to figure out the best order to use your cooldowns. I also recommend coordinating with any snipers in the group to drop their shields when you are running low on cooldowns. I prefer having the other sniper come to me to drop the shield so that I do not accidentally buff the other monster. If a tentacle spawns where you are tanking the monster, make sure you move away from the tentacle so the other tank can have their unbuffed monster on the tentacle. Here, no more monsters were going to spawn, so my co-tank taunts one of my monsters. Make sure your co-tank announces that they are going to do so, so that you don't accidentally taunt the monster back. Now that I only have one monster, it will occasionally throw me. Monsters only throw you over their shoulder, so make sure its back is to the wall, as shown here, so that you do not get thrown towards the other monster. As you can see, I was thrown into the wall, and easily reposition the monster again. Since the other monster is almost dead, I pick up Bestia. Bestia will buff any nearby monsters, so make sure you have cooldowns available if you plan on tanking both monsters and Bestia. Feel free to coordinate with your other tank during this phase transition, as you may need to improvise. This concludes the first phase, so I will now explain the other tank's job. Only one monster will spawn on the left side of the room, either at the close corner as shown or the far corner where the orbital was cast. Pick up the monster and make sure its back is to the wall. Again, single monsters will throw you over their shoulder, so you do not want to be thrown towards a tank with the two monsters. Make sure there aren't any larvae on the healers. In this poll, we guarded both healers and had the DPS pick up the larva whenever possible. When a tentacle spawns, bring the single monster and larva over to the tentacle. Here, I went the long way around the room to make sure that the monster did not get buffed by the double monsters. Stack the adds for a DPS to quickly AoE down and wait for another monster. If a monster spawns while you still have your first monster, have a DPS pick up the new monster and fake tank it until your monster is dead. Another monster spawns, I pick it up and bring it over to the tentacle. Again, make sure your monster's back is pointed away from the double monsters so that you do not get tossed in the wrong direction. The monster fortunately dies when the next one spawns so I can easily pick it up. A tentacle spawns, my co-tank moves away from the tentacle, and then I move my monster towards the tentacle.
After this monster dies, I pick up one of the monsters from my coat tank since no more monsters will spawn during the first phase. Make sure you warn your coat tank that you are picking up one of the monsters so that he does not accidentally taunt it back. Best use spawns, but the DPS are still working on my monster, so my co-tank picks her up. I wait for my co-tank to get stacks of the red debuff, and I pick up the boss. Bestie will buff any nearby adds, so make sure you do not tank her in any of the four places adds can spawn. Further, make sure you are close enough to the other tanks so that healers can easily heal both of you. Bestia casts Dread Strike. After the cast, you will start receiving stacks. Sins can either use Force Shroud during the end of the cast to avoid getting stacks, or stealth out and immediately taunt her to interrupt the cast. Other tanks will need to swap. I like to swap at one stack but you can hold off until you reach about 4 to 5 stacks. The timing of when Bestia recasts Dread Strike is at about 8 stacks. The more stacks you have, the more difficult healing you will be, so keep them as low as possible. I start getting stacks, my Code Tank waits for his monster to die, and then picks up Bestia. Bestia casts Gathering Forces and monsters begin spawning again. My Code Tank starts getting stats, so when my Code Tank was ready, he swapped. I start getting stacks, and again, my co-tank picks up Bestia once his monster is dead. My co-tank decided to cheese the next set of debuffs, so I go over and pick up the monster. I stack it on top of the tentacle to prevent the tentacle from casting. If the tentacle ever does start casting, keep it interrupted to minimize raid damage. My coat tank starts getting stacked, so I wait for the monster to die and taunt Bestia. A yellow circle forms near Bestia, so I move her towards the wall so that the melee have plenty of room. I start getting stacks while the monster is still pretty healthy, so my co-tank and I swap. I get the larva off the healer and then taunt Bestia. I start getting stacks so my co-tank and I swap. Try to time these swaps so that the monster and Bestia both do not move too much. Since Bestia is almost dead, the DPS decide to burn the boss and ignore my adds. My job at this point is to keep adds off the healers and prevent the tentacle from getting a cast off.
Another monster spawns, and I get ready to taunt it and hold both monsters once again. Fortunately, the monsters disappear as, with that, Bestia is dead. For the Empire. <laughs>